Hey, hey, it's Shay Keister, and I'm your host and the founder of Casual Cattle Conversations, a global rancher education company that strives to bring honest thoughts and conversations from ranchers and leaders to other ranchers. Be sure to follow Cattle Convos on social media to have more in-depth conversations around the ranching business and lifestyle brought to you. If you are ready to take your operation to the next level and improve your lifestyle too, send me a message about my Rancher Mind group. Rancher Minds are monthly roundtable discussions for ranchers to learn from peers and experts and leave the call with actionable advice to make changes on their own operations. With that, let's see who our guest is today and what experience and advice they have to offer you to improve your own operation. All right, James. Well, it is great to have you on the show today. I know we've been able to chat over the phone a little bit, and we're going to talk about some digital support ecosystems with Gallagher um, in this uh, quick little interview. But to start off, would you share with the audience and anyone out there who's listening what your role with Gallagher is? Yeah, of course. So I'm a territory manager. Um, or TM for short. Uh, I do the province of Quebec in Canada for the company, but I pretty much deal with anybody who speaks French in Canada and the US. Um, And my job is to manage the brand and all of our categories, fencing, watering systems, and weighing the ID in my territory. Well, that's pretty cool. That's something that uh, didn't get brought up on our previous conversations that you um, handle individuals who speak French. So that's pretty awesome. So going back to the digital support ecosystems, what are various ways ranchers can work with Gallagher to troubleshoot any issues they're having with equipment, technology, any product really? So our main ways currently um, is by phone, um, but we're moving more and more towards uh, our website. Um, Right now we have just one of those basic contact us forms, um, but we're going towards a um, messaging system directly on our website. We have a growing group of customer service, technical service, repair technicians. Uh, They're always happy to help. They're uh, very knowledgeable. I think they get as many calls from customers as they do from me since I have to deal with all the French customers and they only speak English. So (laughs) I'm on the phone with them just as much getting all the information. Um, And that brings me to the TMs, the other TMs in in the rest of uh, North America. I mean, we text, we use Facebook, we use um, various social medias as well um, to get you know, connected with our customers. Um, More and more, I'm using Facebook Messenger. I had to create a new profile just to be able to separate my personal and work. So that's that's the main ways. Um, And then one more uh, tool that we're using uh, more and more and that we're building on is a library of media. Uh, So photos, videos, and audio uh, so that the ranchers can just click of a button on our website, Facebook, YouTube, uh, and have a how-to, you know, 30 seconds, this is how you tie wire. Uh, one minute, this is how you fix your energizer. Well, that's pretty neat. So then producers, uh, I know you said you're kind of in progress on it, but producers can go to those websites, kind of find information there themselves. But if they still prefer to talk to a real person and do that method, that's available as well. Absolutely. So <clears throat> With that, and you kind of touched on it already, but if they're looking to learn, you know, proper management techniques right away, is that just go to the website or is that Facebook? What is the best way to go find that video content right now as you're kind of shifting a little bit? Um, So right now, the best place is our YouTube page. Um, It's got everything from New Zealand, Australia, North America, um, so US and Canada, as well as some European stuff. Um, so they can go to our YouTube page to get the most of our videos for right now, as we continue to build our website, continue to build our social media. Okay. So what you talked about, which I thought was neat was, you know, the different fencing techniques and strategies. So do you have quite a bit of content on there? Um, what does support look like there as far as different strategies for building fence, putting up fence, what type of fence might be best for different areas, just because Gallagher does cover such a broad span of areas, climates and regions. Absolutely. I mean, we, we you know, we cover inclusion fencing, exclusion fencing. We cover, like I said, watering systems and winging ID. So it's, it's a lot of information. And for one person to remember everything, it's just not going to happen. So, um, you know, the, the, the YouTube page does have 
a lot of how to's. Um, it's not getting into specific regions yet, but we are working on that. Like I'm working on Eastern uh, Seaboard, um, Northeastern specifically right now. Eventually I'll be going to the Midwest and out East, uh, out West, I should say, um, to be able to get more of that content uh, so that it can be regionalized. It's a process. Um, so right now, the best place to get that is your local territory manager. So the rancher can, you know, they can look on our website, find out who their local territory manager is and give them a call. So when it comes to digital support, what's one thing you would encourage ranchers to do first when they're looking for solutions? Oh, honestly, as much as we like the digital first, um, talk to your local guys, talk, talk to the local reps, talk to the local feed store, talk to your neighbors. A lot of them have probably used a bunch of different digital things. And so they'll be able to, to, to give you the rancher some more indication on what worked for them, what didn't work for them. And that'll give the rancher a bit more narrow down on, okay, well, YouTube worked really well for me. Facebook didn't, uh, this website works really well. This software doesn't, um, that's the number one place I'd tell them to go. Okay. So is there anything else you'd like to touch on, explain, or speak about from digital support ecosystems? Absolutely. Um, you know, there's experts around the world, like tons of them. Um, you know, we, we have this umbrella of sustainable agriculture and, and pasture management and all, you know, these umbrella terms that then can get divided into these little niche markets. And, you know, some of them work with Gallagher, some of them work with other ones, but I'd say that those guys, especially our partners that we're working with, um, go and find them. You can, you can get overwhelmed with the results you'll find on Google and YouTube of, you know, just typing in best management practices. It's like, oh my God, there's South Africa, there's Australia. Here's, you know, you can find right down to that's the county next to mine. This is my county. Which one do I want to listen to? Um, one of those leaders, one of those experts um, I work with is Brian Maloney of Briley Farms out of Quebec. Um, he's currently setting up pasture groups all across uh, the province of Quebec, and, and then he wants to go across the country and then into the U.S. as well. Um, you know, he's talking about livestock management, uh, pasture management, and there are tons of folks just like him out there. And so it's just a, a click away. Well, that's awesome. So as we kind of wrap up today, um, it really sounds like first things first, ranchers, you know, you're really encouraging them to talk with their local rep, find that person. Um, they can find that individual on the website if they don't already know, but talk to that local rep and then explore some of those digital options as well for visuals and other materials. Absolutely. And like I said, you know, talking is like you said as well, talking is great. You know, sometimes people like to still talk to a live person that live person will also be able to help direct you to those digital assets that you need right away. Well, awesome. Do you have anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up today? That's all I have. All right. Well, thank you for being on the show today, James. It was uh, great to have a quick conversation and talk about these different support systems to help ranchers troubleshoot uh, their fencing needs, as well as a lot of other technology as well. Well, thanks for having me. This was awesome. And that's a wrap on that one. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on the episode. And if you have any further questions around the topic, take care and have a great day.